in episode two of season two of from we got a new scene from boyd and the old man who was locked up in the dungeon the old man once again asks boyd to fulfill his promise and you know <laughs> take him out but boyd didn't know that's what he wanted that's what he wanted him to do when he made that promise so obviously boyd isn't ready to kill him because he doesn't know anything about him we find out that the old man's name is actually martin and in season one there was a scene in boyd's office we saw a map in there and on that map was written the name martin was written on there and that means more than likely this is the same martin who ended up going into the woods and was never seen again by the people of the town anyways when boyd starts trying to break the chains that's holding the man prisoner a random music box starts playing for an unknown reason and the old man says that it means they are coming we don't know who they are even now we don't know who they are and that boyd needs to leave before they arrive boyd then says that he has a talisman and the talisman has been protecting them from those monsters so if he uses it those monsters aren't going to be able to get into that dungeon martin then asks boyd so you think the monsters that come out of the forest put me here that means that it's a different type of monster who put the old man in that dungeon in the first place martin tells boyd that he needs to be gone by the time the music stops playing because when it does it means they've arrived before this episode i was really certain that martin was chained up by a group of people that worshipped from land itself but after this episode it seems like he was put there by a type of monsters we haven't seen yet in the series and not human beings definitely not human they're definitely not human uh something really interesting i noticed is that the old man was closing his eyes right before boyd started seeing the music box and he said that there's and he said that there's darkness in the forest nightmares that humans can't imagine things we were never meant to see but he also says that boyd has to get out before the music stops so after boyd gets infected by the wombler there's a scene where he encounters those vampire mimic creatures and for whatever reason his vision isn't working properly i've seen people theorizing that the monsters can only attack you if you can see them so boyd being unable to see them means the monsters can't attack him that's an interesting idea but there's no point with the blood blinding you when you can just wear a blindfold for the same effect so i think something else was going on there because what would be the point of the warm blood if you can just put a blindfold on your eyes and the monsters wouldn't be able to attack you but it's worth noting that the old man told boyd when they first met that his eyes aren't what they used to be i thought it was because of his age the first time we saw that but with this episode it seems like the warm blood actually impaired his vision but it's never mentioned again it's never mentioned or seen again in the episode when it happens to boyd and that makes it seem like it's merely the immediate after effect of the warm blood and it's not a passive effect but we don't know for sure we have to wait and see the old man says that the town is a really small part of everything that's going on here in Framland, and he constantly emphasizes that he's been there a long time and he even stopped counting the years really makes you wonder if he's been here for decades and maybe even longer than victor himself he just he just wants to die because he's really really tired of the suffering and the things that are worse than the monsters that we don't know about but the fact that they didn't kill him makes you wonder if the warm blood is somehow crucial to the existence of Framland itself and that's why whatever those monsters are didn't kill him and we also saw that there was another guy in that dungeon who died a long time ago presumably a long time ago before martin and it's probably the same guy who gave martin the warm blood in the first place so it's an interesting idea that this person of the warm blood has been going on a long time and for some reason the monsters don't want to kill somebody who has the warm blood which is really interesting really interesting I think that the monsters the old man were, was talking about are actually inside the old man himself, probably caused by the warm blood. When Boyd is trapped in the well, the old man tells him, hold on, and then he somehow magically sends the rope down to Boyd, even though he was tied up and he was really far away from that well, there's no way that a human being would be able to, to get the rope to Boyd in that position. 
there's many signs to me that Martin has special abilities, specifically telepathy and telekinesis. The reason why I'm saying this is the old man says that the music is a sign, the monsters are about to show up, and right before it played, he was closing his eyes as if he was feeling something, you know? He then says, after it stops is when they will show up. And it's right after the music stops that Martin tells Boyd, maybe Abby was right. What if it's all just a dream? And he attacks Boyd and infects him with the warm blood right after he does, right after he says that and right after the music stops playing. It was almost like he could read Boyd's memories and he saw what Abby said to Boyd in the past. If these monsters are the warm blood itself or using the warm blood to spread and possess people somehow, it would make sense that after imagining, the first thought is infecting Boyd so that they can be freed from this dungeon. But it makes me wonder if they are this powerful, why didn't they just break out of the prison before? I don't know, I don't know. Maybe for some reason those chains prevent them from leaving. Maybe they have a weakness to iron or steel or something like that, I don't know. This scene is so is f so full of so many strange things happening and it makes you ask so many different questions because it's really crazy. How much mysteries this scene opens up and how many questions that it makes me ask but anyways those are some of my thoughts on martin and the one blood and what the hell is even going on here i don't know <laughs> and we've got a bunch of episodes to find out i really want us to at least get really close to solving the mystery because i know there's gonna be at least another season but they really need to at least plant the seeds so people feel satisfied that we're actually getting answers to what whatever the hell is going on here. Anyways, tell me what you think about this and what's going on with the Boyd. What do you think is going to happen to Boyd? And is the old man really dead? Because that was crazy to me. If that was his death scene, it's crazy. It's how fast he got taken out of the story. It's crazy. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.